John Nash had two sons before he developed schizophrenia. Nash has passed on both his genius and his schizophrenia to his younger son, Johnny. Dr. Nancy Andreasen has come to meet with Nash, his wife Alicia, and their son as she pursues her research in the links between creativity and mental illness. So, you're a psychiatrist? I'm a psychiatrist, yeah. What's your name? My name's Nancy. Nancy. Andreasen is the last name. I see. I'd like to talk to you, you know, a little bit about what you were interested in when you were growing up. Uh, your experiences what playing chess. Okay. okay, just leave me with questions. Don't try to answer them. Okay. Um, when you first started having symptoms, as we would say, I was um, in my teens. You were in your teens. I was a born again uh, Christian. I was I was a fanatic. Mm -hmm. I was a religious fanatic. Mm -hmm. And uh, the voices I heard, I interpreted them all as God. You know. Mm -hmm. What kinds of things did the voices say? I walked out into the middle of the highway, you know, and they, mm -hmm. they wanted me to stand there in the middle of the highway. Mm -hmm. You know, that sort of thing, you know, mm -hmm. pretty severe. Pretty severe. Yes. Yeah. I didn't realize that my father had passed on anything to me. I, I was just caught by surprise. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was not savvy like you psychiatrists mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. know that that sort of thing runs in the family. Mm -hmm. Instead, uh, you know, I was completely caught by surprise. I was flipped out at the time. You know, I had given up my chess and my math. Uh, but I d didn't really suspect that I was headed for a mental hospital. So you were in your teens, but you also managed to recover enough so that you were able to go back and eventually get a PhD in math. Well, that's a remarkable thing, yeah, that uh, during my religious insanity, I lost all ability to do mathematics. I had been a mathematical genius, you know, 800 on the essay, on, on the achievement test, but uh, I lost all ability to do mathematics. I couldn't add a column of numbers. Mm. But then I went back to school. The voices disappeared, and I took up math again. And I regained all my mathematical, uh, all the mathematical ability that I had lost. And I went on to get uh, a PhD, yes. Mm -hmm. I published, and I taught, yeah. Mm -hmm. I followed in my father's footsteps, to, to, to do honor to, to my father, you know. Yeah, yeah. And Johnny Nash, you, like his father, yeah often experienced periods where he was able to regain his full intellectual capacity. But the psychosis would always reoccur, making life a roller coaster between insanity and lucidity. But I'm still uh, suffering, you know, uh, the symptoms of mental illness. Uh, you know, I, I, I hallucinate, I still hallucinate, you know, but I can function. I function despite the mental illness, functioning schizophrenia. Well, you mentioned hallucinations. What do you mean explicitly? You mean a voice, or what do you mean? Both uh, auditory and visual. You see something? Yes. What Didn't you, you know that I, that I have visual hallucinations? Well, you claimed it once in the hospital. I remember one time... But that, you're not keeping up with me at all if you don't know that I have visual well, hallucinations. I uh, uh, what, what is it? What is happening? I have visual hallucinations, Dad. What do you see? I see things in the air that aren't there, you know. How do you know? I mean, like ghostly figures or what? Like, yeah, like, like ghosts, yeah. Shadows? You see shadows? I see, you know, in the air. So it must be shadows, right? What, what do you see in the air? You could call them shadows. Well, he hasn't even kept up with me. Well, you don't. Know, you haven't. You haven't said that well, you see it's real something. Hard. We don't. We don't see it. You have to tell us that yeah. you see. It's. Uh, you know, your parents are not your doctors, and so it's. And they don't want to intrude on your life. I. Uh, that's too bad. Well, it's been a pleasure. It's been very nice talking to you. Thanks very much. Anger, withdrawal, isolation, denial. The symptoms of the disease and the reaction to them make treatment only more difficult. <laughs>